Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to make wind in Blender. So you start by going to the front view and deleting our default cube. I'm just gonna add a plane that will serve as the ground. I'm just gonna scale it up a bit. Now I'm gonna add mesh cylinder and scale it down so it looks like a flagpole. Like that. Now I'm gonna add mesh plane and this plane will actually serve as the flag. I'm just gonna rotate it by x-axis by 90 degrees, scale it up and put it in the right position. Now what you wanna do is go into the edit mode and subdivide your flag a couple of times. The more times you subdivide the smoother it will look and this is about it. Now the next thing we need to make our flag act like a cloth. So we're gonna go here where it says object and go here where it says physics button. Now click on the button that says cloth and just click pinning of cloth. It's gonna say no vertex group for pinning available. That's why we need to go into the weight paint mode and paint this part close to the pole. Like this. Now when I press Alt plus A to see my animation, this is what happens. See, it stays there, but the flag looks kind of shitty. So you might go as well and set smooth, and we might as well add a subsurf modifier to make it look real smooth. So now it looks great. Okay, next thing, we need to make an actual wind. So I'm just gonna add another plane and rotate it by 90 degrees on the y-axis. I'm gonna put it behind the flag and scale it up a bit, like this. Now we go back to the object panel and into the physics buttons and fields, add fields, wind. Now only thing you need to do is click pause. And this is very important, you need to set your strength somewhere about 30,000. That looks good. Now rotate it so it, uh, it's facing the flag, like this. And I'm just gonna set the strength up a bit so it's bypassed the flag, like this. So now what you wanna do is when you press Alt A, see your wind is working perfectly. See? You can also mess around with the speed of wind, the strength of wind, whatever you want. And you see it works perfectly. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a good rating, give it a thumbs up, share it if you want, and for more good tutorials subscribe to my channel. So that's about it and thanks for watching. Bye.